the universe. Vast, complex, unexplained. We still only know a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. Recent research suggests there is an anti-universe. And it makes me think of the duality that we live in. There's an opposite and equal reaction to everything, is there not? So why not a anti-universe? Well, in this published research essay, it is a very plausible explanation. So the question is, where are we in this anti-universe? And the Big Bang Theory is just a theory. The ancients knew the breath of Brahma is more accurate. What if we are in a continuous time loop of creation and destruction simultaneously, and we are observing the anti-universe from the universe? Check out this presentation. You're going to love it. Buckle up, buttercup. Real quick, check out these statistics. Gold, it's gone up about 81% the past five years. The past 12 months, almost 20%. Central banks are ditching the US dollar and US treasuries and purchasing gold by the tons. Now, there's obviously never any guarantees, so you follow what the money funders are doing, what the MFers are doing. So what's the good news? Well, many predict gold is just getting started. The UBS even said it was going to go up to $5,000. Now, that's pretty awesome news if you ask me. Noble Gold Investments, their phones are ringing off the hook. It appears that everybody wants to protect their retirement with gold and silver right now. You can do the same. Noble Gold Investments can help you secure some gold to protect your future. From day one, you will work with a dedicated all-American expert, whether you're a beginner or an experienced investor, Noble Gold Investments will make sure you get all the help that you need. This month, Noble Gold Investments will give you a free one quarter ounce solid gold coin to add to your collection if you open up an account with Noble Gold Investments. Find out how to qualify. Their number is 1 877 646 5347. Give them a call. You'll be glad you did. Now, let's get back to the presentation. Oh, yeah, we're talking about a new model that presents an anti-universe. What do you think about that? Is that a pretty cool headline? <laughs> pretty intense. Also, severe weather expected today across Northeast Colorado. I'm going to share that with you. This is unsettling. Global Ocean Sea, 14th straight month of record-shattering heat. Oceans face triple threat of extreme heat, oxygen loss, and acidification. And what's going on with all the volcanoes? Well, let's get into this. So this is fizz.org. New model suggests partner anti-universe could explain accelerated expansion without the need for dark energy. This accelerated expansion of the present universe believed to be driven by a mysterious dark energy is one of the greatest puzzles in our understanding of the cosmos. The standard model of cosmology called Lambda, CDM, explains this expansion as a cosmological constant in Einstein's field equations. However, the cosmological constant itself lacks complete theoretical understanding, particularly regarding its very small positive value. So to explain accelerated expansion, physicists propose alternative explanations, such as quintessence, modified gravity theories, scholar tensor vector gravity, additionally explanations beyond the dimensions, brain world scenarios, the DGP model, gravity at large distances due to the effect of a higher dimensional bulk on our four dimensions, brain and variable brain tension. So I don't know what any of that means, but this new model proposes that the accelerated expansion of the universe, unlike existing models, does not require any form of dark energy or modified gravity approaches. It actually, real simple, just needs a partner anti-universe. You know, everything has an opposite and equal reaction, don't you? So this time flow is oppositely related to our universe. There's strong arguments supporting the concept from a quantum theory perspective. It's natural for the universe to be created in pairs. The Big Bang, CPT and neutrino dark matter. We suggest the universe before the Big Bang is the antiverse of the universe after the Big Bang. Thus, the universe is a whole, is CPT symmetric. This model gives an elegant and testable new explanation for dark matter. 
dark matter is a sterile neutrino radiated from the bang like Hawking radiation from a black hole. The model explains, also predicts several observable properties of the primordial perturbations. So basically the universe before the big bang is the CPT reflection of the universe after the bang, both classically and quantum mechanically, so the universe does not spontaneously violate the CPT. We show how CPT symmetry selects a preferred vacuum state for quantum fields. The CPT invariant cosmological background space-time, the universe before the bang and the universe after the bang may be viewed as a universe-anti-universe -universe pair emerging directly into the hot radiation-dominated era we observe in our past. This in turn leads to a remarkably economical explanation of the cosmological dark matter with no additional fields beyond Einstein's gravity and the standard model of particle physics, including right-handed neutrinos that in the absence of an epoch of cosmic inflation, there should be no primordial long wavelength gravitational waves. We also briefly discuss the natural origin of the matter, antimatter asymmetry within this picture and possibilities for explaining the cosmological perturbations. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. So check this out. In this recent paper that was published in gravitation and cosmology, he uses key concepts from quantum theory, such as relative entropy and general relativity, such as the null energy condition, which corresponds to the positive energy condition. My findings suggest that the universe naturally expands in an accelerated matter. Relative entropy requires two states. In this case, corresponds to the universe and its partner, anti-universe. Accelerated expansion seems inevitable in a universe created in pairs that respect the null energy condition. This result is quite surprising, and readers familiar with Hawking's area theorem may notice some similarities. The area theorem also deals with casual horizons and requires the null energy condition to hold. In our model, the casual horizon corresponds to the Big Bang. The results apply equally to the partner anti-universe. To sum it up, the accelerated expansion of the universe is challenging subject that continues to drive scientific efforts, build on existing theories. His model offers an explanation using standard concepts from quantum theory, general relativity, without the need for elusive dark energy. The results indicate that accelerated expansion is natural for a universe which is created in pairs. Also, studying casual horizons will deepen our understanding of the universe. And the beauty of this is that it lies within the simplicity and naturalness which sets it apart from existing explanations. Wow. No wonder it's not getting a, a whole lot of publicity because it's just too simple to understand. It's got to be difficult, right? So that's pretty cool. The anti-universe, it makes me think of the breath of Brahma, how the ancients described the time before the universe in metaphors. And now we connect metaphors with science. We'll use the science to explain the metaphors. It's quite remarkable, actually. So let me give you an example real quick. Cosmic breath of Brahma. In Hinduism, Brahma is the highest universal principle of divinity. The breath of Brahma creates and destroys worlds in a cyclical rhythm. In spiritual science, it maps for the scope of our solar system to the dynamic of planetary stages with conditions of life and form. So you can look at the three dimensions of evolution as an example and the process of outbreeding and inbreeding maps to the concepts of Manvantara and Palaya. This is further explained downstream under cosmic breathing. The whole concept in its nature and characteristics is also described under cosmic fractal. With the breath of Brahma, that reference is made to the highest level in this process, the Maha Palaya whereby a whole cycle of seven planetary stages is breathed in and out, whereas the solar system evolution and the planetary stages are explained in the planes of worlds of consciousness up to the higher spirit world, with reveal at Bodhi plane and renewal at Nirvana planes, the Maha Palaya and workings of the three Logi takes place above that. So a planetary chain of seven planetary stages is breathed in and out by Brahma. The terminology is not always unanimous or consistent. Sometimes the days and nights of Brahma are terms used for the Manvantara and Pralaya of the planetary evolutionary stages. It makes me also think of a sine wave. I think of a sine wave when I think of the 
breath of Brahma and a infinite amount of universes and anti-universes in a duality. So cool. So I'll leave the links for this in the video description box. The new model suggests partner anti-universe could explain accelerated expansion without the need for dark energy. The next article here, severe weather expected today across Northeast Colorado. You can see severe thunderstorms are beginning about noon today, which was just about 45 minutes ago. And we've got large hill, damaging winds, tornadoes possible. You can see here east of Denver. Colorado's like two states. You've got the Rocky Mountains and then you've got the flatlands all nestled in one beautiful state. The Texas hell recently, largest ever spotted in Texas. I mean, it was like the size of an energy drink. Massive. Weather's getting intense. Be prepared, not scared. Now, this is another very... This is like one of those articles you read where you're going to have skeptics that are going to say, oh, you know, it's just uh, it's just an agenda by the MFers. None of it's true. And then you're going to have other people who are going to be completely freaked out. Let's look at this in a neutral standpoint. Global oceans see 14th straight month of record-shattering heat. Past 14 months, surprisingly large temperature anomalies across the world's oceans, widespread and damaging marine heat waves. This is according to the Copernicus Climate Change Service. The big picture, the data released on Thursday via European Commission Agency shows other climate information that came out the day before, showing the world's oceans have been roasting at unprecedented temperatures, and this is since the first half of 2023. Even with a La Nina event developing in the equatorial tropic Pacific Ocean, may still set a record for high ocean temperatures. The ocean records are perhaps more significant and unsettling to climate researchers than recent air temperature milestones also. And about 91%, so the vast majority of the extra heat trapped by greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests, and other activities is going into the sea, which warms slowly over time. Record warm temperatures in the North Atlantic Ocean Basin, among other factors, have meteorologists concerned about a historically active hurricane season. So if you look at the numbers showed in May, Copernicus, it was the 12th consecutive month to set a monthly global average temperature record, the 11th straight month to exceed a key Paris Agreement temperature target. Between the lines, the news comes as parts of Asia, Mexico, and Central America, and now southwestern U.S. have baked from withering heat waves. Monthly and all-time high temperatures have broken records in numerous cities and countries around the world. So there you go. Now they're going to want to sell you a bunch of carbon credits and tell you that you got to eat bugs, and we all know how that goes. So, Luckily, though, the eruption has paused in Hawaii at the Hawaiian National Park Service page here. You can go to the eruption that began southwest of Kalau's summit on June 3rd is paused. No nighttime glow or lava visible at this time. However, gas emissions remain high, and activity in this region could change quickly. Lots of volcanoes, lots of extreme weather, the magnetosphere is getting weaker, the aurora borealis, the amazing views in the skies. Quite a time to be alive, folks. So thank you so much for watching. And check us out on Patreon if you want to watch our interviews. We've had some great guests on recently, incredible shows, incredible presentations. And you'll want to join us over on Patreon for the long format interviews. Many are free, and you can be a Patreon for as little as a buck. Have a beautiful day. Be safe, be prepared, be the change you want to see.